New at 630, there's a shortage of home health aides in our area, leaving local families desperate for care. Yeah, the lack of caregivers leaves parents of disabled children with few, if any, options. It's also putting senior citizens on long wait lists. KDK investigator Megan Schiller introduces us to one local family in the thick of the home health care crisis. It is all about routine for 22-year-old Matthew Kolat. After he hangs his shirt, he carefully removes his shoes and darts off to the basement. He's autistic, nonverbal, and needs round-the-clock supervision from his mom, Maria. He's with me over 100 and something hours a week and to constantly be prompting and redirecting, and he lost so much from, from the shutdown. And he lost all of the home health aides that care for him Monday through Friday. They're not being lost because they can't do the job or don't want to do the job. It's just not feasible to stay in this field with the pay rate. The low pay means high turnover and now a full blown worker shortage targeting Pennsylvania families. Put simply, we are in a direct care worker home health aid um, crisis. Terry Henning runs the Pennsylvania Home Care Association and tells me this worker shortage leaves parents like Maria to fend for herself. And it's not just Maria, sadly, it's across the state. I mean, we survey our members all the time on these issues and uh, almost 100% are turning away cases right now. Um, some, some of them are reporting de um, denying referrals or refusing referrals up to 40% of what they're asked. Henning says the Medicaid reimbursement rates are too low for the more than 1,000 agencies in our state to recruit and retain competent caregivers. The rates range from about $18 an hour to $20 an hour, depending upon where you're providing services. That rate is expected to pay for everything. Uh, the, the wage paid to the worker, um, employers' costs and tax obligations relating to those wages, overtime, PPE, transportation, training. You can see that it wouldn't stretch very far. And the take-home pay for an aide comes to about $10 to $11 an hour. This is really demanding work, and it's not for everyone. So you're already starting with sort of a smaller pool of people who are called to do the work. Um, and now, you know, you, you just in today's marketplace, when you can go down the street and do a lot um, simpler, easier, less demanding job uh, for for 15, 18, 20 dollars an hour, it's there's no contest. So parents like Maria quit their jobs and say goodbye to the help they desperately need. I had a wonderful aide, Lisa, who was working with us and she's a sweetheart. Matt loved her and she loved Matt. She broke her heart to have to leave, but she had to because she has a family and she was going to be making two times the amount. Henning's hoping a $3 increase to the Medicaid reimbursement will help. We need to find the funding and, and we, we, need, we need the support at budget time. I think a lot of them may not know. So we're getting it out there now uh, that there needs to be more funding to be able to keep people in this job. That's why Maria sharing her story saying people need to know about the problem.